Hey, it's Nat, coming up today on BTN Newsbreak. A mysterious reef discovery, wild weather in Queensland, and a look at deepfake technology. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe. For the first time in more than 120 years, scientists have discovered a new, absolutely massive detached reef. And it's bigger than most of the world's tallest skyscrapers. We've got the big pineapple, the big banana, the big lobster, even a big rocking horse. And now we're adding one more to the list, a brand spanking new big reef. Yep, last week, scientists who were mapping the sea floor of the Great Barrier Reef stumbled across this 20 million year old detached reef. And get this, it's 500 metres tall. To put that in perspective, that's way taller than the Eiffel Tower, Australia's tallest building, the Q1, and more than 31 times as tall as the Big Pineapple. So yeah, it's pretty big. It's also pretty exciting because it's the first reef to be discovered there in more than 120 years, so researchers are working hard to explore the area to see what's down there. In fact, they've already had a fair bit of success on the expedition, spotting this rare ram's horn squid and discovering the world's longest sea creature, a 45 metre long siphonophore. Hmm, the big siphonophore. Yeah, that has a good ring to it. Parts of Brisbane have been hit with flash flooding and some wild weather. People in southeast Queensland copped a month's worth of rain in just an hour. A cold air funnel was spotted over the state, homes and businesses were flooded and cars were almost completely submerged in the streets. I walked back to see my car had been flooded. Today, the cleanup has already started and some have been doing their best to make the most of a bad situation. A new study has found that deep fakes, which use artificial intelligence to fake a person's likeness, are becoming more common and harder to detect. For Media Literacy Week, we investigate how AI technology is changing and how you can still spot fake news. Is that glasses? I can't... These kids are taking a test to see if they can spot the difference between a real video and a deep fake. It looks like the face matches the body. Yeah. Quite well. I'm not sure the skin tone's a bit weird. I honestly don't even know. It, it didn't look as like weird as the other one. If you haven't been on the internet, or you're still wondering if Home Stallone was an actual blockbuster, a deepfake uses artificial intelligence to basically swap out one person's face for another, often to make them say or do things that are completely out of character. And even though a lot of these videos are obviously ridiculous, in others, the line between what's real and what isn't like Jordan Peele, is becoming rather pixelated. Yeah, turns out while some deepfakes are kind of easy to spot, others can leave us stumped. A lot of experts are worried that if we struggle to separate fact from the video-based fiction, clips similar to this can be used to spread fake news. We just want to predict your future behaviours. At the start of the year, Facebook announced that it would take down any deep fakes that were deliberately aimed to mislead people. But back in April, President Trump retweeted a fake video of Joe Biden. A lot of experts say it's also up to us to really think and question what we see. Where is the video coming from? Can you trust it? Are other news sources talking about it? And don't forget a good pinch of common sense. Today, there's a robot for just about anything. Packaging food, there's a robot for that. Washing cars, there's a robot for that. Presenting this show, there's a robot for that. Stacking shelves, there's a robot for that. Well, sort of, you still need a human too. This lab in Japan has designed a robot which can be operated remotely. Stacking shelves probably isn't the most riveting application for tech like this, but hey, I think it's doing a good job. Speaking of good jobs, here's a good boy. A robotic one, of course. It's being taken around Chernobyl, which was the site of a really big nuclear disaster about 35 years ago, to see how it operates in radioactive conditions. Okay, picture this. A squid that looks like a squid, acts like a squid, but with a camera for an eye. Sound far-fetched? Well, there's a robot for that. Engineers in the US have created a robo-squid that can move around underwater all by itself. And it has the ability to be fitted out with sensors and cameras, meaning it could be used for future underwater exploration. 
That is all for today. In the meantime, hit subscribe. Do it.